Well, uh, this is uh, part of a three-part presentation here where I tell uh, guys, you guys Facebook fans, of all the advice that I got uh, that has allowed me to be where I am today, financially free, and how I made uh, 40 times over uh, my initial 100,000 cash that I had 10 years ago. Now, these were all in investments, okay? There's nothing about uh, selling businesses and all that and uh, this was really in response uh, to one of my fans who basically asked me hey can you give some financial advice so here it is part one and these are really the three advice millionaires told me to my face and how it changed my life during the past 10 years this was so important you see because without this I'm sure I will not be where I am today I basically uh, wasted my 20s and 30s uh, basically uh, screwing up you know there was a lot of times when I made money lose money make money lose again and finally lose a lot and that was my story in my 20s and 30s so what happened uh, as I was about to approach my 40s I decided decided to change my approach rather than reading books and trying it out on myself I said to myself okay I'm going to read books but I'm also going to check with the real people who have been proven to done things before and uh, hopefully by following the advice of these people I would uh, be able to meet my financial goals so these are the three advice the top three uh, the first one uh, comes from a guy who owns a technology company and the first thing he said to me was you know what you gotta stop marketing and start closing deals you're spending too much time talking too much time describing things too much time trying to sell but you really gotta sit down close a deal and convert all your efforts to money and I think this is very important because as I embark now on my digital business uh, you see a lot of free stuff being offered here and there building a client base and all that but the question you always have to ask is hey when is this going to start to convert to, to money and when you convert it is it going to be enough to sustain your lifestyle you know your future lifestyle whether you're working or you want to be financially free so lesson number one please start closing the deal and figure out how to monetize your effort test it on people who will actually pay for your service uh, number two number two was about the stock market you see I had been investing in the Malaysian share market since 1993 uh, it slowly tapered off after 2001 since you know I was losing money then I really didn't know how to do it so by 2006 I met this guy who said okay the best way to go now is apply to IPO and when the shares go up you know what throw it away sell it to the retailers so I said to him wait 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 aren't we supposed to wait until this thing goes up 10 times he said no you got to sell it to the people who you know want to speculate and then you move your money and do other deals just buy other stocks other IPO shares and that has proven to be a very very uh, good advice because uh, you know now I don't uh, I, I, I say that I, I trade a lot of shares especially IPOs I buy a lot and then when it goes up and goes for a premium I sell it and then convert it to cash and move it to the next stock now this also allows me to sleep at night while I'm building wealth because you know what I have nothing on the market I don't have to worry whether the market is going up or going down so that's advice number two uh, the third advice that's really uh, the mother of all advices uh, that relates to one and two has to be with don't start a business and be an investor now here's the story uh, in about 2007 you know I had a business uh, running consulting uh, 2007 2008 and uh, I approached this guy who had a business in one of the posh areas here in Malaysia in Kuala Lumpur in Bangsar it's called Bangsar and uh, he pulled me to his room and he gave me some very very uh, short but very serious advice you see he said to me uh, you know you see all this business you see the the Mercedes out there you see this office you think it's called glamour what he said to me no it's not glamour it's damn hard work and I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to keep this wealth because business goes ups and down so he said to me look uh, here's the deal if you have a lot of money uh, just 
go and find a job, keep that money, invest that money. Trust me, you're going to be much happier. And lo and behold, eight years later, I am much happier actually because now with the money, I can just go on, keep on investing, uh, work on capital preservation and getting the yield to sustain my lifestyle. So there it is, the top three advices that really uh, changed my life for the past 10 years. I hope uh, you've learned as I've learned from this because this is something that you really don't find in books. You know, you got to read a lot of books to understand this, but I took these three and made it work in the past 10 years. Okay, goodbye for now.